Hey guys, Rick Personas here, back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a drop like Drop Gun. So, we'll be remaking Spirit of Freedom, and the final result will sound like this. So first we're gonna dive into the leads, then the bass, chords, and then the drums as the crash and the kick. So all the presets we'll be using are coming from Future Bounce Room 3. And the preset pack you find all the presets you need to make Future House like Drop Gun. So if you want a pack, make sure to check the link down below besides that. So now let's dive into the sound design of the leads. So all the leads together sound like this. So let's go through all of them. First we have this main one, the saw wave filtered with a bomb pass. And the key of the sound is just this sample distortion. Without it sound like this, and with it, it sound like this. As you can hear that's really the essential part of making those dirty leads. Then we layered it with a more sawish kinda wave table. So the dirty palm kind of sense sounding like this to saw waves with that one distortion. Together sounding like this. Then you added this other layer. Sounding like this. Some more saw kind of synth with quite a lot of unisense. Just to really fill up the leads a bit more. And then the last synth we have. It's kind of the same as the previous one, but without all the unisense. So both these together sound really thick, and with the main layers sounding like this. So then we have the, then we have some mixing on it with a low cut, just to make room for the chorus and bass line. Some OC, just to really control the sound more, and just side, and just some side chain. And that's it for the lead. So now let's dive into the bass line. So now we're gonna dive into the bass lines of the song sounding like this. So first I have this analog sub sounding like this. We just added a wa analog wave table and serum. Nothing too crazy going on around there. We have the bass line. It's the main bass sounding like this. So it's basically a saw wave FM elevated with a monster wave table. So without FM, it sounds like this. So I said it be really add some more character to the sound in the high end. And then the key of the sound is the FM modulation from ACDB. Then we add a filter to it. What else? A width. And add some more distortion, a hard bit, some hyperdimension, some flanger, OC. The OCT really open up the sound a bit more so. That's how we queuing just to boost the highs of the bass line a little bit. And that's the bass lines. Sounding like this. With at least it sounds like this. So now let's dive into the chords. So with the chords it sounds like this. And solo, they sound like this. So just simple saw chords. With two saw waves, quite a lot of unisense. And flow one right to the D tune of Oscillator B, giving this kind of effect. And then you have envelope 3 right to the pitch of the sound. Sounding like this. This will kind of give that hard style chord effect. And then for the mixing, we have some hyperdimension, some distortion, just some basic stuff, some OT compression. Let's open up the sound. And some reverb and delay. Mix and wipe, we have the tape stop effect on it. This will give the tape stop effect to it. Around here. So then we only have to dive into the kick and the effects. So with effects, it sounds like this. So we had three effects a crash, a crowd effect, and a downlifter. 
The crash is just a simple crash where it's delayed to it, where it's loops. This will really fill up the track a bit more. Same for the crowd effects, just a side change crowd, which will also fill up the track a bit more. And then we have the long down lifter, just to add more energy to the drop. And then the last thing we have is just this cashmere kick. So all together, it will sound like this. And that's it for how to make a drop kind of stuff drop. So if you like the video, please leave a like. And if you see more, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next videos.